Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, can lighter rackets be better, play better, and have better feel than a heavier racket? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I've been thinking about this subject for a little while now, and going back on my past, say, 20 years, I've actually kind of gravitated towards, like, a lighter racket. Like, I've been thinking back, like, in 2000, the year 2000, I was playing with a Wilson Hyper Hammer 4.4, 95-square-inch head. That thing, although was head-heavy, was about 9.9 .9 ounces before strings. What I wound up doing was I kept adding weight to it until it was about 13.3. But I was thinking, why did I like the racket in the first place? Because it was a hammer. It was head heavy. But what else was going on, though? It was actually so light to start with. Well, it had feel. So it made me think, like, maybe thinner, lighter, like thinner, meaning like thinner material um, makes it have more feel. Because as you guys know, I don't use a dampener. Therefore, a thinner, right, like more hollower and thinner walls would actually accentuate more feel. Is that possible? Is it better feel? Well, here, let me, let me take a minute and drink my coffee here. I want to thank Wanda Lowe for sponsoring my coffee today. Uh, Wanda, this one's for you. Thank you so much. If you want to sponsor my daily coffee, the network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. Nice and hot. Okay. Oh. Looks like delivery day, delivery time. My man Elliot's in the house. Thank you. All right, oh, there pretty you heavy. Go. What is that? Cool. Oh, I got it. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, Elliot. Have a good day. Thank you. So it's my Therabody stuff. Speaking of feel, I ordered something just for well Valentine's Day. Oh, is this the one? <laughs> Valentine's Day, guys. So think of the loved one, because I know a lot of you guys out there uh, who support the channel and watch the channel got loved ones out there. We know tennis is a game of love. Well, hey, how about some recovery love from Therabody, the Theragun Mini, in red, the special edition color. So perfect timing, Valentine's Day. Okay, all right guys, so back to the video here. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a really big fan of Babolat um, pure drives, you know, in the heavy or the, the tour, the tour or the regular, but for some reason, I kind of like these evil lights. And I figured out that this is very similar to kind of like a hyper hammer 4.4 because it's nine ounces so it's light to start but it's head heavy so it's easily you can get this around pretty easily when the ball impacts it actually sends a nice little feel through the racket into my hand so the thinner these walls are the more feel you get but for some reason the balance feels great it feels like it has more power which it probably does it probably has a little more power than a standard pure drive um, and that actually is kind of good for my game but what about regular rackets I mean not everybody can just grab a light racket weigh it down like me and then go play with it Although you probably could, but you kind of have to know what to do. Now, 
So I, I mean, I would definitely consider doing that to this light racket because I do like how it plays. But let me, let me talk about something else though. Like these two rackets, like we've play tested the MP and the Radical and the Pro and the Radical. I mean, we love the way the MP felt. I'm guess it's something in the layup. Um, the layup meaning like the thickness of the walls, the different components of the uh, beam. Um, it, it It's perfect in the MP. For some reason in the Pro, it's not right. Uh, it, it's the feel isn't there. It's just extremely muted. When you thicken up the walls and you make it heavy in a certain way, you kind of throw the feel out and it just, it just doesn't have the same or the right feel in, you know, our opinion when we play tested it. So we're like, there's something going on here. We, I've been telling people to weigh up an MP uh, versus getting a pro. So just so you know, so that's kind of another example of, you know, a lighter racket playing better than the heavy, even though, you know, you want or should play with the heavy version. Now, contradicting that though, um, same company, right? We don't like the MP in this one, in the boom. We like the pro in this one. Uh, again, it's kind of a layup thing. It's, it's where the components are. It's where the walls are thin. It's where the walls are thick. It's probably something in the handle uh, that they did but the pro plays way better and it finishes way better than the MP. But this is kind of one of the rarities that, that um, the companies do. Usually because you got to make something heavier, it's going to be a little more muted. It's going to take a lot of feel out because the walls have to be thicker. Therefore the, well, the vibration, the feel, the vibration, which I call feel uh, will have to be, um, less because of the pro. There are rare instances that the heavier feels better, but in most cases, the light is going to provide more feel. So if you've ever kind of liked a lighter version of a racket instead of the heavy, you're probably not uh, one of the few. Because uh, I've, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I like these light rackets better. Um, there's just, I mean, there's more sound to it. There's more, I mean, I guess people call it vibration. Uh, people call it shock. There's more of all that to it. So when you actually hit the sweet spot, you know it in a lighter racket. But the lighter racket also allows you to customize it by adding lead to the head and in the handle to kind of counterbalance the weight. And then you can also mess with the balance of it to your specs, as well as a swing weight to your specs. So those are kind of the advantages of getting a lighter racket. By adding lead, you actually don't take out the feel. Um, it actually enhances it even more. So that's what I'm saying. Like going back to my old days, you know, I probably would like this evil drive light, even though it's not matching with my specs but I can definitely make it to my specs, all right? So if you guys are out there thinking like, man, I got a light racket, what should I do with it? Should I upgrade to the heavy? Well, not necessarily, not necessarily. Add some lead to it, customize it a little bit, see if you like it that way, add more lead, be a lead addict like me, and you'll finally get a fully customized racket to your liking. All right, so before you throw out that light racket, mess with it first. Taking us out today is my man, Dan. Go for it, my man. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Mm.